let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. A viewer asked me about uh, chain maintenance as far as adjustment, you know, how much slack there should be. You know, that's something that you should, very important for you to pay attention to. You definitely want to keep up with your chain. You know, I, I've done videos on how to clean and lube your chain. That's something that you want to be doing often. I do it probably about every 300 miles or so. And uh, man, my chains last, I, I have yet to change a chain. On my uh, CBR 600RR, I put over, what I put, like freaking 14,000 miles on it. I, it had 20, like 23,000 miles or so, close to that. And when I sold it, and the chain was still good, the chain and sprockets, because I kept such good detailed uh, maintenance on the chain that it stayed good and you know a lot of you guys you get your bike and uh you don't do much maintenance on it man you just let the chain go to shit some of you guys got rusty ass chains a lot of chain slack and that's something you got to be careful of man because you know if it gets too loose and it comes off that sprocket you know it, it can lock up that rear wheel and if you're going real fast man it can set you up for real effed up day uh, so you definitely want to keep in t I just ch uh, adjusted the chain on mine not too long ago and uh, You want to go by the manual on how much chain slack there should be I think actually on here it, it says The chain slack it should be here keep chain adjusted and lubricated One and one fourth inch of free play so you don't want any more than one one fourth inch free play That's an ideal target there, and you don't want it too tight either see here when you get to a point when you're you put the chain up here and it's touching the swing arm, then you put you've got too much slack, most definitely. A lot of you guys also ask me about that Motul uh, chain pace, um, and you ask me does it pick up a lot of dirt? Uh, this is my first ride with it. Doesn't really look too bad. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look as clean as the the chain wax. So I may end up going back to that. I don't know. Like you guys said, it may pick up some uh, some extra dirt. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But also, you want to pay attention to your uh, your sprockets too. You want to look at the teeth of them. See, my teeth is still good, but this bike only has. I don't even have four thousand miles on this bike yet. Uh, but if you start seeing missing teeth or the teeth rounded down really bad it's time to replace and you want to replace both sprockets don't just do the back you know you want to chase both of them at the same time with a new chain and uh, you do it all together I'm working on my WR 250R I'm modding it you know putting on a bunch of different parts and I had a problem with it already and uh, that's one thing I tell you I love about Honda's is the quality control is absolutely awesome I mean at, at Honda these bikes come off the assembly line. They are 100% fully inspected. The WR250R, the problem that I had is the um, the starter plug is known to come unloose on those bikes, on some of the bikes. Some people have had the problem. I've changed my bars on it, so I may have pulled on it just a little bit. But it caused it to where when I turned the ignition on, the fuel pump didn't come on, and the bike wouldn't start. Let's see here. Okay, the fuel pump doesn't activate, starter, nothing. But I did some research and I checked the forums and, and some people said that uh, it, it's a known issue on the bikes that, not a well-known issue, just a handful of people I guess are having problems where the, the plug pulls out of the socket. They didn't fully click it in at the factory. They didn't fully inspect that and check it. You can see there, it gets unplugged from the factory. It's not fully clicked in. I don't know if you can see it there, but I've got to remove, um, I have to unbolt the radiator here and remove that small bracket to plug in the plug there, and that'll uh, fix the problem.
by the way, I came out here to visit my late brother. He was an OG rider, rode from the age of seven all the way till he died at 30 years old. Never got hurt on a motorcycle. And then one day he had an aneurysm and he dropped dead. Hey, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, psychocruiser.com. Click on my videos and all of my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share it. I appreciate all you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Until next time. Deuces. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.